We all get sidetracked on these grand plans that we have. So how do we get back on the horse? Folks, it's April. It's about the time that pretty much everyone's New Year's resolutions, those that make the corny ones, have fallen by the wayside. And the question comes up, well, I had these great plans. I wanted to stick to a diet. I wanted to exercise. I wanted to work on a set of skills or something like that. Now I've fallen off the horse. Life happened. I got hurt, uh, you know, traveled or did something, you know, or, or just made a mistake, got lazy, lost your motivation, lost sight of the goal. And the question is, how do you get back on track? It, is there such a thing as getting back on track? I believe there is. And I've made some of the grandest plans there are out there, and I've certainly failed at most of them. I think that's a pretty easy claim to make. And I've become kind of a master, and maybe not master, but a student of the mindset of how to get back on track after a, a fall or a, um, a slip or loss of motivation. And I think there's three things involved. And they are, number one, forgive yourself. Number two, don't anchor on the past. And number three, Step, then plan. I got it written on a board over there, had to check. Forgive yourself, don't anchor on the past, step, then plan. Let me explain. Number one, you've got to forgive yourself for the fall, for the sidetrack, for the binge eating, whatever it is. You've made a mistake. Acknowledge the mistake. Don't rationalize it, don't make excuses. But just say, I'm human and I made a mistake, and as a result, I'm not where I wanted to be at this point, and that is fine. You can't fix today what you screwed up yesterday. It's, it's something you have to get past in your mind. Yesterday's gone, it's never coming back. You made a mistake, you didn't do what you said you were gonna do, you didn't eat the way you said you were gonna eat, you didn't hit the gym, whatever, it's gone. The best thing you can do is change it today, but the way that you change it first and foremost is just by forgiving yourself and admitting that, acknowledging the mistake, acknowledging that it wasn't what you want to be, but that you got a chance today to do something different. Okay, So forgive yourself, number one. Acknowledge the mistake, but let it go. Number two is don't anchor on the past. And I'll use fitness as a metaphor, but this is can be extended to just about anything. When I was deployed in Iraq, this was 2009, 2010, uh, we were on a very small base. We didn't have much of a mission, but we also didn't have a way to go running or do cardio. We had a ton of food, we had a pretty good gym, and we had a ton of free time on our hands. So what we do, what any Marine does, we lifted two, three times a day sometimes. I remember those days and I remember the kind of numbers that I was putting up on these Olympic lifts and I wonder if I'll ever get back to that. Well, first of all, I was in my early, early 30s then, which is still a pretty good lifting age for men. I'm in my late 40s now. And second of all, I was living a life back then that I can't live now. I can't be in the gym three hours a day. I can't, uh, I can't eat like that. I can't maintain that kind of weight and be healthy. And so there's just a lot of things that about that time that are not realistic for me anymore. That's a metaphor for a lot of things. I try not to anchor on that. I try not to remember that, hey, I used to deadlift 400 pounds. Can I get back to that? And, and it goes back to forgiveness, but it goes back to, that's a person that you're never going to be again. Obviously, we know that given those unique and bizarre circumstances, I'm never going back to 2009 Albert Bellamy. That's a person that is gone. That's a situation that is gone. Never going to happen again. But it's a metaphor for who were you a month ago? What were you doing a month ago? Was that the ideal you? And are you now hung up on, well, a month ago I was doing great and now I'm doing terrible. So what's wrong with me? Don't do that. A month ago, you is never coming back. That was a different person. 
based on a different set of circumstances. Where you are today is based on the sum total of life happening to you, of the choices that you've made, of, of you know, random chance that, that you can't affect. You are the person that you are today, and you're in the situation that you're in today. And the best thing that you can do is adapt to that situation and figure it out from here. So don't anchor on the past. Don't hearken back to a time, well, I was happy back in the summer. Yeah, everybody's happy in the summer. The summer's amazing. Now it's winter. What are you going to do about it? So don't anchor on, on anything. The time when you were sober, the time when you were fit, the time when you were content and, and killing it at work and now you're fired and you, know, you can't, can't sort yourself out. You are where you are today. How are you going forward? And that brings me to the final step. And that is step then plan. Your instinct right now where you're sidetracked and you're despondent and you're pissed off at yourself that you're not adhering to the plan that you set out back in January. Your instinct may be to over plan. That's certainly my instinct. Let's sit down and let's write out the 50 steps that I'm going to take to get to where I want it to be. The worst thing you can do is try to catch up. Don't do that. Even if you start by planning, don't plan to catch up. That goal that you had may not be attainable anymore. You need to be realistic about that. But what you really don't need to do is sit down and ponder this grand plan. Why? Number one, because that is the quickest way to never get started. You can over plan. If you're a perfectionist like me, you're going to obsess over the plan. And you're going to want to make the plan perfect. Until the plan is perfect, you're never going to start executing it. The most important thing is to take that first step. So it's a bit like that kind of joke, ready, fire, aim. That is not viewed as a terribly good thing, and certainly with firearms it probably isn't. But with executing some sort of plan or some, getting some sort of forward momentum, that's actually a really good way to go. Hopefully don't do it with deadly firearms. But if you want to execute something, if you want to get back, say get back, don't, don't use that language. If you want to execute a fitness routine going forward, the first thing you do is go get in the gym. Toss some weights around. Do get your body moving and fluid and in motion. Then, once you get that good feeling from a forward step in the right direction, then go back and throw together a, a rough plan. Don't let the plan be perfect. Ideal is not the, or perfect is not the ideal here. Done is the ideal here. Take that first step, get your motivation, get your juices going and then go back and figure out the plan from there. So if you're trying to eat healthy going forward, eat one healthy meal. Eat one day's worth of healthy meals. Go throw out those Oreos that you bought last week. Won't kill you. It's only a waste of a couple of bucks. Just take that first step that signals to yourself, a physical step that signals to your mind that I'm serious about this. This is happening from this day forward. Step then plan. Don't let the perfect be the enemy of the good. The goal with the plan is not perfection. It is not painstaking detail on every step of the way. Rough plan. What's your time frame? What's your goal? How are you going to get there from here? Give yourself a handful of mile markers, way, waypoints along the way. Take that step and execute. My friends, I hope that helps you. If you have fallen off of some plan or some goal that you had and you're kind of wallowing in your despair or your self-recrimination that, you know, I'm a piece of crap, I couldn't execute, why do I always do this? Quit that negative thinking and take this three-step formula. Forgive yourself. Don't anchor on the past. Don't, don't dis be despondent over the plan that now maybe cannot be executed and step then plan make yourself a new plan you can't fix today what you f <laughs> sorry youtube you can't fix today what you screwed up yesterday uh, all you can do is start a positive direction today my friends i hope that helps you semper fidelis and i'll talk to you later